Pycelle calls a small council meeting to greet Eddard Stark upon his arrival from Winterfell to take up the role of Hand of the King. Eddard greets him cordially, but cannot help mentioning that Pycelle served under the Mad King. He then gives Eddard his the badge of the Hand of the King, before asking if they should start the meeting. The council discuss financial matters, which has been made far worse by Robert's command to host a tournament, as well as their extensive debt to Tywin. Eddard questions the council's effectiveness, he and Pycelle both defending his predecessor, John Aaron. Eddard meets with Pycelle to discuss the death of John Aaron, and suggests that he might have been killed by poison. Pycelle says he thinks it unlikely having treated John for a feverish illness. He still cautions Eddard to remember that poison is the weapon of a woman or a eunuch, making sure that Eddard understands that he is implicating Varys. Pycelle also lends Eddard a book about the lineages of the great houses that John borrowed just before his death. Pycelle supports the motion to assassinate Daenerys. He elucidates that he bears her no ill will personally, but fears that a Dothraki invasion of Westeros would be devastating. He argues that though unpleasant, it is preferable to have her killed now rather than have thousands die later. His argument does not convince Eddard. Pycelle is in court when Eddard dispatches Beric Dondarrion to bring Esser Gregor Clegane to justice for his looting in the Riverlands. Eddard also sends word to Castle Rock, demanding that Tywin explain his bannerman's actions. Littlefinger and Pycelle object, but Eddard insists on seeking justice. Pycelle tends to Robert after the latter is critically injured by a boar while hunting. He predicts the king's imminent death and manages his pain using milk of the poppy. Following Robert's death, Eddard claims that Joffrey is not his son and is arrested for treason. Cersei and Pycelle convince Sansa to write to Rob, imploring him to swear fealty to Joffrey. Pycelle is present for the trial of Eddard on the steps of the Great Sept of Baelor. He counsels mercy after Eddard's confession, and is visibly shocked when Joffrey instead has Eddard executed. After sleeping with Rose, Pycelle absent-mindedly mutters about how Aerys had begun his reign as a great man before slipping into insanity. He muses about Joffrey's potential for greatness, but his remarks peter out into mumbled nothings. Rose leaves and Pycelle does a series of exercises and stretches, then dresses and walks confidently to his door, before adopting the meek, fragile appearance he usually wears to court. He is much stronger in body and mind than he appears, but hides this from everyone. 